We're working on this 2005 Chrysler Town and & Country and the project today is we're re replacing this adjustable accelerator pedal. It's not too complicated putting this in but there are a couple tricky issues that uh, we want to talk about in this video. Anyway the first thing is that uh, the accelerator pedal hinges on this clamp here so it's just two screws that hold it in the car and what you have to watch out for on the other side the uh, accelerator pedal adjusting motor is next to this pedal so this shaft goes in here and then this goes into the accelerator pedal adjusting motor which is mounts right next to this it has a similar kind of hole so we'll show that later but uh, what we do is we put this pin in the accelerator pedal adjusting motor first and then when you put the pedal in you have to slide the pedal over the pin now the other even trickier thing here is this uh, return spring here this spring will uh, make sure that the pedal stays up dash on the driver's side here <coughs> there's the accelerator pedal adjusting motor that's this uh, right here and down at the bottom of that is where this uh, drive pin goes that goes into the side of the accelerator pedal you have to uh, you have to rotate it a little bit to get the square shaft into the square hole and it sticks out about a three-eighths of an inch there right here and then the accelerator pedal uh, will fit right over that <coughs> two screw holes for the accelerator pedal now what you have to find is an eyelet for the uh, spring to go in here's the two screw holes for the accelerator pedal and then right up here inside this cavity in this uh, module bracket right in the back of that hole that cavity there there's a hole the spring will fit over the top of this and then the hook will go clear back till it comes out that hole right back there what we'll do is we'll hook it on here first like this and then bend it so it won't come off Now we'll put this in there, hook up the uh, spring and then the accelerator pedal or, th or the throttle cable or th and the spring or the spring first and then throttle cable, whatever is easier. We'll have to see how it works. I'll try to hook this uh, accelerator. There, I've got it. Now you pull back on it in the hole there. Now that throttle cable is attached to the uh, accelerator pedal right there. Wow, uh, make some room here. Push it over to the side. You have to raise this pedal way up like this so I can get up underneath there. <clears throat> Try to get that spring hooked on again. Yeah, I think I've got enough room. I should be able to do it this way. Just a matter of fishing around and finding that hole. There, I've got it in there. There, I got it. Spring is in the hole. And then you have to uh, get the pedal in position and keep tension on the spring. I'm going to try getting this accelerator pedal 
attached down here. The critical thing here is getting the uh, that drive pin in place. There we go. If I push the uh, accelerator pedal up and down, it gets that square shaft to go all the way in. There. Okay, I got that in. Now get the screws in. Okay, I can hardly believe it, but I got it in. I got the uh, screws started for the accelerator pedal and if you look up in there <clears throat> you can see the spring is intact see that's the way the spring's supposed to be working right there see I'll get this uh, cable out from under here attach the uh, cable to the adjusting motor and then uh, we attach these two screws and then uh, I think I've got a car again. So anyway, that's how you uh, get an accelerator pedal in on a 2005 Town and Country, Chrysler Town and Country. Okay, thanks for watching.